another one. So this one is a little bit more technical, but it's gonna be very, very helpful. How is your automated test code reviewed? Can you give me, uh, can you give me a detailed explanation on once you write your code, where do you upload it to store it? Do you use Git Bash or push your own branch in GitHub? If your QA lead is reviewing your code, where and how do they do it? Do they pull to their computer and run the code on an IDE? All right, I like this question. I like this question, all right? So how do we do, um, how do we do like code reviews for automation testing, right? So I will tell you how at, you know, at, I'll, I'll give you a few examples, right? So I'll start off with uh, a company that I was at um, a few companies ago, right? When I was doing automation using Java and Selenium, and when I did, they, like they would do code reviews. So when I, I said, all right, let me do a code review, right? And their recommendations was totally not on par with like automation standards. As developers, I was like, all right, this isn't gonna work. So I just like said, you know what, forget code reviews. And when I and and the way that I would know that my tests were working, right? That my code was working because my tests would be passing, right? However, so that was one situation because it just depends on who you are working with. And I was also like the QA, the senior QA and the only QA, right? So there was like, so there was that dynamic, right? However, at this company, it, we have a huge QA organization, but I'll give you the answer of like how the QA, um, how the general QA organization does it. And then I'll tell you how I do it on my team because I don't work as closely with the general QA organization um, as I do with my team. So the general QA organization, uh, they will have like, they'll create, like we use GitHub and we'll submit pull requests. Uh, and then it'll tell you the code that was changed uh, and the code that's going to be merged. And then we'll have like they'll drop the pull request in a in a chat, and then we'll have um, different QA people going in there and giving recommendations and stuff like that. And then once it's approved, then it gets merged into into um, the master branch and everything like that, right? So the question though that you're asking as well is, uh, so like I said, we use GitHub, right? Um, and we like we use the pull request to see what what has changed. Do um, and if your QA leads review your code. Um, so the whole, like pretty much anyone, um, can review it and give feedback and stuff like that and then give approvals. So it's not only the QA leads that are doing it, the QA leads or the QA managers or, um, the QA, the lead QA engineers, the senior QA engineers, their voice has a little bit more weight because they have more experience, but anyone can give, um, can contribute, ask questions, stuff like that. Right now, do they pull the code on their computer? And do they run it on the ID? No. The reason why they don't do that is because. We can see if the test pass um, when we run our when we run it through the CI CD pipe the um the CI CD pipeline as well as if you do not test your code manually before you push it for code review then that's a problem right you should be testing you should be testing your like you should be running the code the test um locally now, when I said manually I meant locally run it locally to see it pass right. And then you push your code up and then you run it on, we, you run it on that branch to see all the tests pass. And if all the tests pass, then I would submit it for a code review, get some feedback, make some enhancements. When I, when I do the enhancements, when I make the changes, then I would actually run the test again to make sure they're still passing, you know, do regression on your, on your tests and on your changes, make sure that they're still passing before, and I did start the clock, but it is what it is, right? Um, you do that before you actually, um, like, Submit again for a code review. And once everything is approved, you merge into the main branch or the master branch and you are good to go. All right. So that is how the automation code is reviewed and tested. Um, and I, I can't say in most organizations. Oh, I didn't answer how I do it like on my team, right? So on my team, uh, the developers as well as the QA engineers, the engineer, like, um, we all contribute to the automation. So when, um, I like our automation is written within the same branch that the developers would like, in most cases, right? That they write their code, right? So because we try to keep, we try to keep it together. So um, in the same, because a lot, if you don't, you're going to get backed up on automation because it's not going to get prioritized, right? So when we're working on a feature, working on a story, 
the developers are writing their code. I also have that branch where I'm writing my automation code. And then we everything gets tested out together. And the developers and other QAs on my team will do the code review. And we'll because like our developers are really, really good at automation as well. And um they're very, they're very QA minded. Um, so it's 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 just a great dynamic. But like the, um they, they write some automation code, but we write some automation code, or we write most of the automation code, but we're we're responsible for the automation code. And um and like so they'll they'll give code review and give recommendations on better ways to do things, better ways to have the code. We fix it, we make sure that the the tests pass, and then we we merge that way, right? So that is how we do it, right? Like just like um Montel Jordan said, right? This is how we do it, all right? Shout out to the Montel Jordan reference, right? I'm going back to the 90s. All right, let's wrap that one up. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.